Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, dear brothers and sisters, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I want to address my sincere sisters, those sisters who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and firmly believe in Islam, firmly believe in the Quran, firmly believe in the message of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and believe in the messenger of Allah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I want to ask them, and I know that are sincere in their hearts, they've got this iman and they've got this love to Allah and His messenger. But there's one thing that's missing in their life, is they're not wearing the hijab. And I want to ask you, my sister in Islam, why don't you wear the hijab? Why aren't you wearing the hijab when you know that you must be wearing the hijab? Why aren't you wearing the hijab when you know that the hijab is an order of your Lord? Why don't you wear the hijab when you know that the hijab is an order from your Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Why don't you, know that, why don't you wear the hijab when you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will judge you over not wearing the hijab? Why don't you wear the hijab when you know that you are neglecting an order of your Lord? Why don't you wear the hijab when you know that you are displeasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? I want to ask you this sincere question. And I'm not referring or pointing at you at any moment saying that you're a bad woman or a bad Muslimah. On the contrary, you have the iman and you have that love to Allah and you have that love to the messenger of Allah. But you have this weakness in your life. And I know it's been going through your mind for many years or many months that you want to wear the hijab, but you are hesitant. You are hesitant to wear the hijab. But I want to ask you, why are you hesitant? Why are you hesitant to please Allah? You should be hesitant by disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You should be hesitant to disobey Allah azza wa jal. I should not be hesitant to obey Allah. I should be always hesitant to disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But we have it here in the opposite. I am hesitant to obey Allah by wearing the hijab. I am not hesitant to disobey Allah by not wearing the hijab. I should not be hesitant to, by obeying Allah Azza wa to wear the hijab. And I should be hesitant by disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not wearing the hijab. This is the mu'mina. This is the believer. My sister in Islam, why don't you wear the hijab? Why are you hesitant in wearing the hijab? Why are you delaying yourself from pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? You know by you wearing the hijab, you are pleasing Allah. You know by you wearing the hijab, you are obtaining the pleasure of Allah. You know by you wearing the hijab, you are getting closer to Allah. You know by you wearing the hijab, you'll be saved from the punishment of Allah. So why don't you wear the hijab? And you know that by you not wearing the hijab, you are displeasing Allah. You know by you not wearing the hijab, you are, you are sending the punishment and the wrath of Allah upon you. You know that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa had cursed as females who neglect such an, important, uh, such an important right, such an important right and important practice in Islam. Yes, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said that I have seen two types of people, never seen them before. And then the Prophet alayhi salatu was salam mentions about female in which they have their hair like a hump of a camel. Ma'ilat and mumilat. They are twisting from one side to another, teaching others to do this twist that will attract people to them and cause fitna. And the Prophet also says they are, they are, they are, they are, they are female, they are not wearing, they're not wearing clothes in which are covering, they are wearing clothes which are see-through, clothes that do not cover their aura which also refers to those females who do not wear hijab at all. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, they are from the hellfire and they will never ever smell the fragrance of the paradise. Why should you miss out on the paradise just because you're not wearing the hijab? Why should you miss out on the paradise just because you're not wearing this hijab? Is it worth it that you miss out on wearing the hijab in this world and then you end up in the hellfire? I ask you by Allah, ask yourself that sincere question. Is it worth it that you do not wear the hijab in this dunya and then you end up in the hellfire just because you did not wear the hijab? Is it worth it for you that you do not wear the hijab in this world and then later on you miss out on the paradise? Why? I want to ask you this other question, my sister. I know you're sincere and I know you love Allah and I know you love the messenger of Allah and I know you love the Quran and I know you love the hijab but you're just hesitant 
you are just hesitant over wearing the hijab. Why is it that other sisters, other Muslim sisters are wearing the hijab? What makes them better than you that you can't wear the hijab? Why is it that are they at the front line of Islam, that at the front line of getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and you are in the last lines? Be at the front line. You could be at the front line, and you could even beat them to be even in front of them. Do not delay this, just because you don't want to wear the hijab. It is the shaitan that's putting all these thoughts in your mind. Because shaitan does not want to see you succeed. Shaitan does not want to see you get closer to Allah. Shaitan, shaitan does not want to see you entering the paradise. So my sister, why don't you wear the hijab? Think about it seriously. Ask yourself that serious question. Why aren't you wearing the hijab? Why aren't you pleasing your Lord? Why aren't you acting upon the commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Why aren't you acting the commandment of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? You need to be very honest with yourself. And you need to, to, to take a determined decision that I want to wear the hijab. It is time for me to wear the hijab. And don't you ever say that if I'm going to wear the hijab, I'm going to be looked at differently. I'd rather be looked at differently by people than embarrassing myself in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'd rather fear Allah azza wa jal than fearing anyone else. Allah has more rights of you fearing him than the people fear, that you are fearing people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has more rights upon you that you are embarrassed from him than you are embarrassed from people. It is your Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's ordering you. So you should be so concerned. You should be so worried. You should be so stressed over you not wearing the hijab. And you should be determined to make a change in your life. And that change should take place now. Don't say, I'll put the hijab on. I'll put the hijab on when I get married. I'll put the hijab on when I get a job. I'll put the hijab on when I go to hajj. I'll put the hijab on when I pay off this or do that. Don't delay your repentance to Allah Azza wa Jal. What makes you know when that time will come? Put the hijab on now. Do not delay it. It is time for you to act upon the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And don't you ever think that if you do something, such a thing like wearing the hijab, don't you ever think that by you obeying your Lord you ever lose? Don't you ever think that if you're going to put the hijab on, no one will come and ask for your hand? Or you lose your job? Or maybe people look down at you? You are doing something for Allah. And when you do something for Allah, you will never lose. When you do something for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will never fail. It's on the contrary. When you do something that does not please Allah, that's when you are worried. When you do something that does not please Allah azza wa that's when you fail. When you do not put on your hijab and you do not please your Lord, that's when you should be worried about what people will think of you and before that what Allah azza wa will see of you. You should be worried about the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not the pleasure of people. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, whoever pleases people in return by displeasing Allah, Allah will be displeased from them and Allah will make people displeased from them. And whoever pleases Allah and people are displeased from them, Allah will be pleased from them and Allah will make people pleased from them. The pleasure of Allah is your priority. The pleasure of Allah is your objective. The pleasure of Allah Azza wa is the most important thing to you. So my sister, do not delay. Do not delay your obedience to Allah. We the hijab from today. And you'll see how Allah Azza wa will change things in front of you. You remember at the end of the day, you're doing this for Allah. You are doing this for Allah. How could you lose if you do this for Allah? How could you fail if you do this for Allah? How could you, how could you, how could you lose or fail if you do this for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So my sister again, we the hijab and make a change from today. Turn to Allah and remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be there for you. Repent to Allah and Allah will accept your repentance. And I ask Allah to give you the strength to be the hijab. Allah maj'anna minal ladhin yistami'una al-qawl fayattabi'una ahsana. Subhanakallahumma wa bhamdik. Nashadu an la ilaha illa anta. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Oh.